What are your thoughts on the introduction of African cheetahs in India? Is it not a bad idea to give per precious funding to a foreign species? I think it's far better to utilize these resources in the conservation of local species such as sloth bears, Indian wolves, civet cats, striped hyenas and local species of various other animals like small wild cats, the caracal for instance and so on. Even some part of this budget can also be used for the conservation of Himalayan brown, Himalayan brown bears. We need to spend sufficient money to conserve the species that we still have, the tiger, the lion, and various other small, obscure species, various snakes, serpents, pythons, hedgehogs, porcupines, all kinds of species we have. It's a very rich uh, ecosystem that we have in various parts of India. It's all interconnected. We have the brown Himalayan red panda, the small one, which you find in the Himalayan region. We have the clouded leopard, the spotted leopard, very hard to find species in northern India and so many other interesting species. The golden langur, for instance, very interesting langur. The typical langur is white with a black face. The golden langur is a golden fur and a black face. Very intelligent animals and so on. So what needs to happen is that all of these species need to be safeguarded. Their, their habitats must be safeguarded and preserved so India needs to do that. I think about 10% of India overall is forested. That's how much is left. We need to make sure that it is not destroyed. When it comes to the cheetahs, we should not introduce the African cheetah into India. Firstly, and why am I saying this? India was the home of the cheetah. We had tens of thousands of cheetahs in India just three or 400 years ago. The, the, the Turk, Jahangir or Salim, Akbar, Akbar's son Salim, Jahangir, he had a menagerie of 5,000 pet cheetahs. Just one guy. Right? So the cheetah, the chitraka, was always part of the Indian wildlife ecosystem. It is the British who rendered the cheetah extinct by putting a price on the head of the cheetah. So if you bring back a tail or a head of the cheetah or even the skin of the cheetah and you give it to the local district collector who collects things, then the collector would actually give you some money for that. So everybody suddenly looked upon this as a great gold rush and that's why the cheetah was hunted into extermination. And the puppet Maharajas of India were also involved in this. Right? The various puppet Maharajas that were put in place after, after 1857. So that's why the cheetah was rendered extinct by the foreign colonizers of India, by the British. Now the African cheetah is a different species from the extinct Indian cheetah. And the problem with these African wild cats is that they, they have this virus, the FIV virus, feline immunodeficiency virus, that Indian wild cats don't have. We don't want to introduce that African virus into the Indian ecosystem. You must have heard of HIV, human F immunodeficiency virus, HIV, which causes that this is called AIDS. There is a simian immunodeficiency virus, SIV, that infects various monkeys in Africa. And there is a feline immunodeficiency virus, which does the same thing in cats, in various species of cats, large cats, small cats, all of that, lions in Africa and even leopards and all that. So we don't want that virus to enter the Indian ecosystem. We don't want that. If you bring African cheetahs into India, that virus will come into India and from there it may infect other Indian species of wild cats. We don't want that to get into the tiger and all that. Because our animals, our cats don't have the natural immunity to this virus that the African cats have developed over hundreds of generations. Therefore, we must not introduce the African cheetah into India very clear. But we do want to revive the Indian cheetah, which is extinct. So what do we do? Well... The Indian cheetah is essentially the Asian cheetah and there is still a population of Asiatic cheetahs in our neighboring country, Iran. We know there's the small temporary nation between us, but that's a matter of time. So we have a population of what is essentially nothing but the Indian cheetah still alive, still extant in Iran. So what we should do is to reintroduce some of those Iranian cheetahs into India with the cooperation of our, our Iranian friends. Right. So I have heard about this proposal since, I mean, I think this proposal has been around for decades. From the 1980s onwards, people have been talking about this, discussing it, but it's never fructified. 
so i think the indian government should sit down with our parsi cousins talk to them request them to send a few cheetahs a small percentage of their population to us and we can give something back in return if they want no problem give and take and that is how one could reintroduce the cheetah into india it is something that's been part of our culture and civilization for 10000 plus years ever since we have been our ancestors have lived in india we have coexisted with the cheetah and the lion and the tiger so the lion is now confined to one small part of india to the gir forest in saurashtra sub gujarat in the saurashtra peninsula of western india and we no longer have the cheetah so we need to ensure that we safeguard these iconic felines of india the tiger the lion and we need to reintroduce the cheetah so the way to do it is not to bring it from africa the cheetah but to introduce it via iran from the iranian population that way the virus won't be introduced into india